The X-Men with their mutant powers have given us some of the most iconic superheroes of all time. Iconic superheroes like Wolverine, who has regenerative abilities and an adamantium skeleton and bone claws. He's got heightened senses like smell and hearing. We also have other mutants like Mystique, who's a shapeshifter that can mimic the appearance and voice of any human, giving us the master of espionage and deception. And then there's others like Magneto, who has the ability to control any metal with his mind, leading to a formidable and powerful adversary for the X-Men. But when we view the mutants who have insanely awesome abilities, which often lead to complex character and story dynamics, we also have to consider the mutants that have powers that are simply truly awful. And that's where I come in. Today, we're going to explore these truly awful mutants that don't even make it as a D tier level mutant. These guys aren't even the dudes you put on the bench. They're not even allowed to look at the bench. First up, let's look at Ugly John. Um, yeah, this dude has three faces and they're all ugly. That's literally his only power. He's like the worst version of the living tribunal, except he's just a man. There's really not much more to say about him. He's just ugly and got three faces. And then there's other ones like Long Neck. I want you to go ahead and guess what this guy's mutant power is. Well, if you guessed anything other than having a long neck, then I don't think you're paying attention to the literature. Then there's this one dude, Zeitgeist. Vomit. That's literally it. He vomits. I mean, he's kind of okay in the sense that he has acidic vomit, so if you need him to, like, melt a wall, then I guess you call this dude to vomit on a wall. He's definitely not the type of guy that you want to take out drinking. I'm gonna say that much. Kalun, he might look pretty cool, but his only power is to mimic any sound he hears. Yeah. He's literally just a liar bird. And if you don't know what a liar bird is, then prepare to be amazed. <laughs> There's this one mutant, his name is Tag, and uh, he tags people. That's literally his power, is he plays tag. The okay thing about his power is that when he tags someone, it causes them to emit a signal that makes everyone else run away from them. So I don't actually know how this is useful in any capacity. We don't want to forget our boy Glob Herman, who literally just has invisible skin. His muscles, his bones, his organs, those are all still visible. It's just his skin that's in visible. It's actually pretty disturbing and everybody just kind of views him as a monster if they don't know who he is. So poor guy, honestly. And then there's Beak, who's essentially just a bird. He's got hollow bones, he's got feathers, and you guessed it, a beak. But that's about it. The dude can't even fly. He just looks really, really disturbing and has trouble making friends. Not a very good mutant power, in my opinion. And then there's Bailey Hoskins, who's a mutant boy that explodes. But only once, though, because once he explodes, he's dead. So, and last but not least, we're gonna take a look at Jay. This is a mutant that once he hit puberty, he started killing everybody within like a one mile radius around him. How does he kill everybody around him? Well, he emits a toxin radiation. That's essentially just a series of deadly toxins, acids, and poisons that once it comes in contact with other people, they just explode into fire and death. This mutant's outcome is actually really, really depressing. Since he inadvertently killed like over 200 people, Charles Xavier sent one Wolverine to end his life. And those are some truly awful mutant powers. It honestly seems that for every one awesome mutant that Marvel makes, like Wolverine, there's at least 15 horrible mutants that are just having an awful time. 